Hello there. My name is Peter Thompson and this is one of my teaching DVDs and this one is about playing golf in the wind. Many golfers do not like playing in the wind. Personally I used to love playing in the wind because I wouldn't fight the wind. I would always play with the wind. Some winds are so strong you simply can't fight them. Many, many golfers, this may include you, if you're playing a golf shot into the wind, it seems like a normal reaction to want to hit the ball harder. This is a big mistake, probably the biggest mistake all golfers make playing in the wind. You may or may not know that a golf ball, when it's hit correctly, it spins backwards. In other words, it's spinning backwards this way. Spinning backwards. And depending on the golf club, the ball can spin backwards between 2,000 and 10,000 revolutions a minute. Between two and ten thousand revolutions per minute. So imagine the ball is spinning backwards this way and the wind is howling this way. The ball is spinning backwards. The wind will make the ball travel higher and the higher it travels the less far it will go. So you can't like that. I was playing golf with a man once and in the wind on the ninth tee at Kettering Golf Club, he's with the pro at Kettering Golf Club in Northamptonshire in the UK and on the ninth tee into the wind this man took out his driver and hit the ball as hard as he could but he hit the ball just on the top of the golf club. Where's the driver? So he hit the ball on top of the club. Now that sends the ball really high anyway and spinning backwards. So the ball went really high, spinning backwards, the wind caught the ball and the ball finished behind him on the tee. It's an amazing goal shot. Well, not for him, but it was an amazing goal shot to see the ball going backwards. This can happen, this did happen. What I used to do is this. If I'm playing shot into a green, and let's say I would normally play a pitching wedge, 10 iron pitching wedge, into the wind, if I hit the ball harder with a wedge, it will spin even more, go even higher, and maybe not even get halfway to the hole. I would go down up to four clubs, maybe from a nine to an eight, seven, six, depending on the strength of the wind, this is a seven iron, and I would then use a seven iron with my normal swing, but swing slower. And by swinging slower, less spin, the ball will go lower, and the wind won't affect it. It's a great shot to hit, actually. So normally, with a pitching wedge, this is a 7-9, we're going to swing back, maybe not quite as far, and swing down quite slowly, and the ball goes really low, and still straight. And because you're playing into the wind, even though the ball is going lower, it will still stop sooner. I read somewhere that Jack Nicklaus, when he was building golf courses and designing practice grounds, he would design a circular practice ground, so wherever you are on the area, you could play into the wind if you wanted to. He was a big believer in practicing playing shots into the wind, because that gives you a good indication of how well you're striking the ball. So into the wind, swing slower. With the wind behind, you now want to swing faster. People tend, with the wind behind, to swing slower. You should swing faster. 
So let's say the shot is normally a six iron, seven iron. You now need to swing faster, but use a club with more loft. Maybe go from a six iron to an eight iron, nine iron, pitch range, depending on the wind. And by swinging faster, you'll get more spin, the ball will go higher, and crucially, when the ball lands, because you have got a bit more spin, it can stop sooner. So, wind behind, swing faster, wind into your face, swing slower with different clubs. Same swing, don't, don't change your swing. If you have a good goal swing, then just use the same swing to play all the different shots, just swing faster or slower. You may have the wind blowing quite viciously right to left. So we're playing this way and the wind is blowing this way. Again, many people make this mistake. They hit the ball out to the right and the wind brings it back again. Imagine this mat is the green, the ball can be hit a long way out to the right, the wind brings it back again, and by the time the ball gets to the green, it could be actually rolling almost across the green. Now that's not a good goal shot really, it won't stop if it's rolling too far. What I would tend to do, the wind blowing this way, I would try and make the ball spin, with a fade spin, with a cut spin, right to left. So then the ball will be going back into the wind or at least still going straight. Now to do that, what I would do, again, depending on the wind, I would aim the face a little bit to the right of the target. I'll then aim my feet a little bit to the left of the target. Then we're going to swing slightly across the ball and you will then get the ball spinning this way. It takes a bit of courage to do this by the way because the wind's blowing this way and you're going to aim a little bit that way, which is fine, but please practice the shots first. So wind this way, aim your feet a bit to the left, open the face slightly, so then you'll come across the ball and the ball will then just fade back into the wind. If you haven't played this shot before, please go on the practice ground and try it. Otherwise you might hit the ball to the left with a closed face and that would be disastrous. So please practice the shot first. You may also have the wind blowing this way, behind you. Again, people then tend to aim to the left and let the wind bring you back again, which is okay, except that when the wind brings it back again, the ball can be running across the green this way, and it simply won't stop. What I'll do, the wind is blowing this way, aim a little bit to the right, I will turn the face in, so the ball may well start off a little bit to the right, but then it would draw back into the wind. So the wind is going that way, but the ball is spinning this way. And, and it works. Again, try it first. Depending on the strength of the wind, you will take these actions, more or less. Only a slight wind, almost ignore a slight wind, but when the wind is really strong, when the wind is howling across the golf course, you need to take all these precautions. And you won't play probably your best golf, but at least you'll play golf better than you would do normally if you try and fight the wind. Into the wind, slower wind behind, faster, wind right to left, fade the ball, wind blowing behind you, then try and draw the ball. I hope this helps. Please practice them first 
and if you're happy on the course you can play these shots then that'd be fantastic. If you play in a flat course and there's no wind then all these things you needn't bother trying to do. But if you're playing on a course, maybe a seaside course with lots of wind, you need to be able to play these shots. The best West golfers, Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer, Jordan Spieth, they can play in the wind quite nicely and they don't mind the wind is blowing and howling across the course. They're not going to fight it. They're just going to learn to play with it. And they do very successfully. So I try to enjoy playing golf in the wind. I used to. And if you don't fight the wind, then you'll definitely improve your scores quite a lot. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.